on YouTube. The Dynamic Duo is back in the building again. Snickers over 50. Before we get in today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on, and hit that like button. And a huge thank you to our subscribers. I think we're right under 200. I don't see why 300 cannot be within our grasp by the end of summer. And again, when we hit 300, I will be giving away a pair of Yeezy Boost 350s. Uh, that being said, happy Air Max Day to everybody. I saw a lot of videos about your Air Maxes. I only have two myself because I traded off quite a few to get some other shoes. Uh, what's, what's your take on the Air Maxes anyway? Um, when I worked in the shoe world a long, long time ago, when I worked at the Foot Lockers, I did wear Air Maxes, but I haven't worn them for a while. Yeah, I'm kind of, I mean, comfortable shoe. I kind of got away and got on the Jordan thing a little bit, but I think... I am going to go back to them. So I do have two pair. We'll show you those two. And then for a bonus, we're going to do a show you my collection of my favorite styles, which will be the Jordan 1, the Jordan 3, and the Jordan 4. Tonight, we will showcase my Jordan 1s. But first, like I said, it's Air Max Day. I only have two pair. You just grab out one if you want. Uh, I got the Sean Witherspoons, have not worn those yet, quite excited about wearing these, but they're just sitting on ice right now, dope shoe. And I have the Black Wolf Gray Air Max 90s, pretty dope sneaker I think. And like I said, this is the style I'm more trying to get back to is the, 90, uh, the 90s, I do like the 95s, but I like these quite a bit. So, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about the 95s, your Air Max fans. I'm 50-50 on it, you know. It is what it is. It is a nice shoe for the summertime, though. Okay, now we're going to get into my Jordan 1s. First off, before I start, and I know everybody has this story. Uh, I didn't know a whole bunch about off-whites when I was collecting shoes from before. That wasn't really... A hype thing back then. I didn't know too much about it. So everybody takes those big L's and gets scammed and finessed. Well, I got finessed big time on this. I uh, did put a little bit of money in it. Thought I was getting, you know, a good deal. And come to find out, this is a Fugazi. Tony Soprano would not be happy with this. I'm sure he would because he'd be selling them. Probably. But these, I mean, you can see if you can look right there. That right there, no go. One, the other shoe is a little bit higher than this one. It's just, but I keep it though. I keep it to remind me. You got you got to watch out and be careful what you're doing out there. Uh, I actually put it on the sneaker group I'm in to ask them their thoughts because, like I said, I didn't know that much about them, and I got ridiculed beyond belief, made fun of, laughed at. You know, eye opener. So I keep those just to you know remind myself. To pay attention because you do have scammers out there. Next, I'll let Mama show those off. Got the Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. My favorite ones because of the Duke Blue. Oh, we're back to Duke. I'm sorry, P. I thought with the virus and all, we would forget and be past that. Apparently, we are not. I don't have it, so I'm not forgetting anything. True. Dope shoe right here. That That is one of my favorite colorways. Uh, next... Jordan 1 Homage to Home, and I believe this is the non-numbered, yeah, non-numbered. Pretty nice shoe I added to the collection. Let me go a little more so everybody can see. Like I said, these aren't all my favorites. Some I picked up and, you know, because I was getting deals, some I do like. Uh, this one's a little more recent. Uh, the Jordan 1 Zoom. Which and we just did a video yeah, we on. just did a review on that. So you just saw that last week. Not a bad shoe. Definitely a summertime shoe. So we'll wait on that. It's almost around the corner. Felt like summer today. It did, and still does now. Next, we have the Jordan One Rookie of the Year. Another one I'm saving for a special occasion. And if you, I know most people, I can't do the other tab. The laces are on. Look at the tab there, what's written on the inside of the wing. Same thing here, but I got the laces on, so 
Uh, this one, very, very nice material there. Real soft, you feel that? That's, that? that's a beautiful shoe right there. I like that a lot. Next, we have the Jordan 1, uh, and I believe Obsidian. I don't know, but I can't hold Obsidian? this. That's Carolina. Yeah, I don't. I think it's Obsidian. I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't remember at all. I'm getting old. Also, colorway, super dope in my opinion. And North Carolina, like she said. So, we'll take this over that uh, Hyper Royal. And then, probably one of my favorites. I mean, that basically needs no introduction. Just put it up there with the hang tag. Let it hang. Let them know. <laughs> that don't even need no introduction. So, I'm not even going to tell you what that is. What is this? I'm like? not going to say a word. <sighs> yeah, that's one of those moments. I'm not going to say anything about it. You know. And if you don't know, well... Now you, know. now you know. Yeah, and maybe, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you're in the wrong hobby if you don't know what that is. Next, we got the Jordan One. Oh, I can't remember pine the name green. of it. Pine green. It's uh, pine green. I, I think like two point I think. I don't know, but I like I this colorway. Not a bad shoe. Not a bad shoe at all. Pretty soft. Got the tumble leather here. I do like that. And that's a lot, a lot of these are a lot different from the, uh, this Jordan 185 here, because that's old school. This is what me and mama remember, how shoes were made. Don't age me. A little tough like that, and you know, a lot of shoes now got your tumble leather and all that. This, this is what I like. That's a playing in the, playing on the blacktop tennis shoe. Yeah, you uh, play in the blacktop, run through the woods, <laughs> kickball, dodgeball, baseball, football, you can do it all in that shoe. And then wipe it off when you get home with a wet paper towel and go on about your business. Now, another one of my favorites is the Jordan 1 Travis Scott. I do like this one, too. Yeah. And you see, I had to, I had to rock the pink laces with it. Mm -hmm. To me, that's pretty darn fresh. And I love that reverse check. That just that sets the shoe off. That's another one of probably my top five. Let me tell you where those. Yeah, I do wear those quite a bit. Next, we have the Jordan 1 Bloodlines. Uh, haven't worn it yet. Don't know what I think of the shoe. There's I think, a crease in the toe. to be honest, I got caught up in the hype of this shoe. Nah, we ain't gonna do. It is what it is. Not, I mean, also not a bad shoe. Leather quality is still decent, so I ain't complaining. And then we have the Jordan 1 uh, Crimson Tint, I believe. Dope, dope, dope colorway right there. And everybody can't pull this off, but your boy Snickers over 50 will pull that off with something. I just don't know what. Another nice shoe. What do you think of this one, actually? I really the like color that sweet. colorway, yeah. And last but not, not least, I caught a lot of flack for this one. That's a few too many shoes. And that's the Jordan 1 Fly Ease. And uh, if you would, Mama, show them why they called the flyies and uh, the little. Now I caught a lot of flack in my video because I said Nike had totally just dropped off the map with this, and I hated the shoe. Come to find out, this was more for uh, what would you call it? I don't know. Uh, people that have a hard time putting their shoes on or special needs. It was a much easier shoe, and once I looked at it through those eyes. Then I understood, but you have the strap here. And then that whole thing unzips so it's easier for people to get their foot in. So once I, you know, found out why the shoe was created, then I kind of had to eat crow a little bit. Like I said, I still, you know, it's an okay shoe. I mean, obviously I still have it, but once I understood what the meaning behind it was, it, you know, pretty cool of, uh, Nike and Air Jordan to put something there, out there like that. Yeah, but uh, Way to be inclusive. Very much so. Well said, Mama. Well, I believe that is all of my Jordan 1s. Thank God. If there's something else that I forgot, it might be somewhere else. Uh, I do have a lot of Jordan mids. We can run through that right quick if you want. Or we can save that, we'll save that for, for another, another video. video because Vanna's arms are tired. Everybody knows I like the mids, I like the lows, but I am going to give you a sneak peek of one thing that I did pick up here recently.
Doing. So that's something I picked up a little bit ago. Like I said, I love the mids. I love the lows for summertime. To me, the highs, that's a wintertime shoe, fall when it's kind of chilly out. Okay, that being said, subscriber that wanted that uh, video of my collection, you know who you are. I gave you my Jordan 1s. Uh, the next couple videos, of course, will be the Jordan 3s, which are my favorite, the Jordan 4s, and we might possibly do the Jordan 5s. It's probably my favorite because, like I said, I am very much old school. As usual, if you dig it, buy it. Wash your hands out there, people. Stay at home. Stay at home. <laughs> keep your distance. Uh, don't think this is going to be over in a couple weeks because I, I don't think it's going to be. But uh, we try to make some videos, make, you know, have a good time out there. But it is a serious thing. So do what you need to do. Be safe. Check on your loved ones. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.